Cavs gonna get it. Hockey fever in North Texas. Let's go Dallas. Has a way of turning us green. Shoot, scores! Ironically, it was green that made it possible. The beginning of, of developing a winner that Dallas is gonna be proud and Dallas is used to seeing. And Owner are, Norm Green announced at Dallas City Hall in the March of 93 that he was relocating the Minnesota North Stars to Dallas. He got his taste of Tex-Mex, we got a taste of the NHL. We're absolutely convinced that uh, Dallas is going to be a very, very strong franchise. Well, not everyone was convinced. Some people there are kind of in between, don't know, really know if, uh, if it's going to work or not. If we get a few wins under our belt, I think that more people will come out and watch us. It's a history-making night in Reunion Arena as the National Hockey League makes its regular season debut in Texas. The fans that night including a future president, watch the Stars win their first ever game in Dallas over Detroit. But in the 30 years since, this is what has changed the most. Youth hockey in Dallas has never been better. Since the Stars came to town, they've built eight Star Center facilities like this one across the area, giving youth players in Texas something that was hard to find. Ice. In 25 years and plus, we've grown 15 sheets of ice. Stars president Brad Albert says those rinks are where we're seeing something almost unimaginable before. We certainly are contributing to the high-end talent pool that is now flowing into United States colleges, into junior programs, and then ultimately into the professional ranks. Hockey talent produced on the ice of Texas. In Dallas, I'm Chris Sadegi. Well, I remember when the Stars came to town thinking, uh, this will never be a hockey town. <laughs> Boy, was I wrong, and I'm glad I was. Yeah, and if you've missed it, we've done some amazing one-on-one -on -one sit down interviews with players. We had, you know, we've talked to the coach. There's some really good stuff. So if you are a fan, check that out at WFA.com so you can get some more insight into who they are. Two favorite parts from that story, the laser lights on the ice and also Chris Sadegui <laughs> trying to walk gingerly during that stand-up so he didn't slip and fall. He made it. <laughs>